from Dubai. I liked Dubai and uh, I liked the lifestyle over there and uh, I liked food as in like uh, I liked meat dishes like hot dogs and burgers you know uh, what's uh, commercially attractive. The food aspect why I am drawn into it is because uh, because I could only share my feelings through food. That's one. Second thing is that I would have, uh, you know, I would have stress and, uh, you know, uh, from, from studies and, uh, you know, like uh, the en like, uh, social environment pressure. I would, uh, immense my, I would immerse myself in food. And nobody wishes to be obese and overweight. Um, healthy and and uh, genuine lifestyle and well-being is a pristine must. We have been worried about uh, the way he is putting up weight uh, and we have been thinking about uh, bringing and taking a corrective steps. So we were introduced uh, by one of our friends to a doctor in Manipal Hospital Dr. Mevin, and we came here with all hope uh, that uh, we will get a good uh, attention and treatment and results. My caring father was the one who promoted me to do this surgery. He was born uh, with uh, normal weight only, but over a period of time, he faulty eating habits and sedentary habits and little kind of depression and all those kind of patients, social stigma and all these things made them put on a lot of weights. So recently he developed the breathing difficulty like you know, he walks, he gets the breathing difficulty, he can't walk for a long time. When he sleeps and gets up also he feels breathing difficulty and he developed uh, hypertension that is high blood pressure and he's on medication for it. For such a small age he developed all these health issues. So now even he has huge legs, leg pain, and uh, he developed cellulitis in the legs because of uh, obesity, lymphedema and all these things, health issues for his tender age. So what happens, he came to us. So we have admitted him in the hospital, did the body mass analysis and uh, we have taken the cardiac clearance, pulmonology clearance, anesthesia clearance and psychological clearance from all the departments. So everyone agreed, uh, everyone agreed on one term and uh, we decided him to operate. We kept him on liquid diet for nine days and we have kept him in BiPAP machine for a sleep uh, regulation and we have optimized, uh, he reduced his edema from his legs and abdominal wall by giving diuretics and we have optimized, he reduced his, uh, controlled his blood pressure to normal. The surgery is not a cakewalk for this kind of patients. Even though we do a good number of surgeries in Manipal Mill Road, bariatric surgeries, but this, this type of surgeries are very challenging. More than 200 kgs is always a challenging. What are the challenges we face is the instruments can break, and uh, putting the trocast is not easy, the trocast can break, the camera can break and uh, putting IV line for anesthesia side and um, uh, maintaining the vitals during surgery is, is a big challenge for this kind of patients. So uh, we have uh, overcome all those challenges and our anesthetist has been excellent. Now uh, while discharge his vitals, his saturation, everything was okay, so optimized and discharged. So now he came back for the follow up, now it's five to six days post surgery. So he has roughly lost around 21 kgs. Now he weighs around 219 kgs, and his breathing snoring, that uh, the coarseness of the breathing sound has come down, and uh, I think his uh, uh, most of the parameters are become better already. So we expect him like uh, in around eight to ten months he should be losing around 100 kgs more. We have done a gastric bypass on him, mini gastric bypass, and so if he is regular with his multivitamins and proteins he will have a very good recovery we are uh, ready to face any kind of challenges in obesity uh, we are even ready to face uh, more heavier than this patient weights also so we are uh, regularly doing this kind of surgeries so uh, so anyone who is uh, really obese and morbidly obese or super obese or bmi very high can really approach us so we can uh, take care of them very well. I and my father has an immense gratitude towards Dr. Moinuddin. I also thank the Manipal Hospital Millers Road and their uh, expertise and human interve intervention and their moral maturity towards me. 